food is something very existential and it's something very fundamental to human beings. Now we know that blaming the government because so many people are overweight, way overweight in many cases, will be rejected by those who say that personal health and well-being are a matter of personal responsibility. We were inclined to that point of view. But this project has proved to us that the processed food industry and the government know full well what is happening, and they are making a bad situation worse. Take that meal, you take that McDonald's meal, you don't realize it when you eat it, but you're eating corn. Beef has been corn fed. Soda is corn. It's all high fructose corn syrup, that's the main ingredient. Even the French fries, which are, you know, half the calories in the French fries come from the fat that they're fried in, and that fat is liable to be corn oil or soy oil. And so when you're at that McDonald's, you're eating Iowa food. Everything on your plate is corn. production of farm products ever in the history of this country and next year we're going for a still further increase on top of that as we pull all stops. subsidy programs and uh, all these incredible regulations on what farmers could grow and how much and where government was was saying it's all over grow your operation you've got to plant more land plant fence row to fence row boys and buy out your neighbor if he's not willing to grow
acre of corn. Doing an acre of corn, huh? Yes, sir. It was changed from the days when I was your age. What what part did you play in 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 creating the food system that we have today? When I was a youngster on the farm, we had this program cutting back on production. We paid farmers not to produce. One of the stupidest things that we ever did, I think. But they got paid for not producing instead of paid for producing. And, and when I became a secretary, we stopped that system. <laughs> Come out then. Well, we haven't harvested it yet, so we don't know how much uh, what the yield is, what the yield is, and stuff. But it, it, uh, from as far as I can tell, it looks like everybody else's corn. So yeah, it's standing up. It's and standing up, and it's kind of yellow and hard. And I think our problem is figuring out what we want to do with it once we harvest it, because we've been out figuring out where it could go, and none of our options seem particularly attractive. And I'm not. Terribly impressed. With. <laughs> and you shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should be impressed at the stupidity. We aren't growing quality. We're growing crap. Poorest quality crap the world's ever seen. We're growing it today. You, you don't eat the corn that you grow. No. Nope. growing and selling this corn. Oh, yeah. But we might make a little bit. But you'll make money off the government. And that's what it's all about. Well, see, you probably only had half of your initial payment. You get that. Then mm -hmm. you'll get a uh, counter silical payment. And now you're going to get a loan deficiency payment. It's yeah. the government payments that are keeping the guys going. It ain't the value of the crops. How much money do you think comes into green every year from the federal government? Oh, it's by far the largest industry in green, by far. 